Good afternoon guys. Nobody, and I mean nobody, should have their rights, freedoms, dignity and pride taken away from them. Never. But that's what this government has decided to do, forcefully and willingly against the people, for control. With no real facts, because let's face it, these facts for this, what we're supposed to be in lockdown and everything for, they're like wishy-washy, they're making it up as they go along. And basically what they're doing is tearing us into a totalitarian communist dictatorship, which is tyranny, ladies and gentlemen. The government, they need to stop all this nonsense because there's only so much of losing your rights, freedoms, dignity and pride that people will put up with. And it's a natural um, reaction in the end. It's like cornering a rat up you know, the corner. It's going to fight back eventually. You cannot keep doing this and the government should know this. But it will be done peacefully and lawfully in a court of law as laid out by our constitution of this land. And anyone who backs this tyranny, including judges, police, owners of corporate businesses like Asda and Morrison's, uh, will not be able to come out with the old I was only following orders routine because it won't wash and I'll explain to the, about that in a minute. That is not an excuse anymore. It hasn't been since 1946. No, Democrat, no, no democratic society should have their rights and freedoms and dignity removed and have the pride taken away from them, ladies and gentlemen, unless they have committed a crime worthy of such action. Like if you've murdered somebody, you know, then obviously you're going to have all those things taken off you because you've committed murder. What we are doing now is imploring the right honourable members of Parliament to do the right thing for us, the people, and back the people. As the people back them and put their trust in them to care for our well-being. Because they know in their heart of hearts what's happening now is wrong. And what they are doing now, ladies and gentlemen, these right honourable ladies and gentlemen and members of Parliament, they are committing treason against the sovereign people of this land. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to go through the Nuremberg Code, ladies and gentlemen. That's the Nuremberg Code, what was done after World War II. And you will see, when I read that code out, everything that they're doing now is unlawful. It's unlawful anyway, because of our constitution. But it's unlawful and contradicts, and is, it contradicts what the um, Nuremberg Code says. But I'm going to read it out to you now, and then you'll get a better idea of what I'm saying, trying to say. Here you go, guys. So here we go, guys. Nuremberg Code. One, voluntary human consent is essential. Two, experimental results should result in being good for society. Three, anticipated results should justify the experiment. Four, avoid all unnecessary physical and mental suffering. Five, no experiment if there's a chance of death or disability. Six, minimise the risk of the subjects. Seven, proper preparations and facilities to protect the subjects. Eight, experiments conducted only by qualified persons. Nine, subjects can withdraw at any time. And ten, terminate experiments if the results are known or with the best judgment. And that is the Nuremberg Code, guys. There you go, guys. That's the Nuremberg Code. As you can see, Boris and the rest of the governments around the world cannot really do what they're doing without the people's total consent. Um, we've just got to stand by that and stand by our laws in this country, the Constitution. And when we start taking these people to court, once the judges realise that they've got the backing of the people, you'll see a lot of judges start dishing out the real justice and the proper justice. At the moment, a lot of them 
Uh, I know it's wrong, they're going along with the tyranny, but a lot of them are going along with the tyranny because they fear for their lives. If they know they've got the backing of the country, they will, majority of them, if they are good, honest judges, will come back onto the side of the people. And so will the police, because as it's saying in the Nuremberg Code, etc., etc., just following orders to bring about tyranny is not an excuse anymore, ladies and gentlemen. So just bear that in mind. I hope that was interesting for you. Um, and yeah, stay safe, guys, and I'll speak to you all soon. We can do this. We are the 99% guys. Stay safe.